All right, it's time to get the building. My main goal for right now is I want to build the little section that's going to be sitting inside my bed. So when I say that, if you guys think of a truck bed, there's like the wheel wells and there's going to be like that little walkway that's going to go all the way to the back and then up. So right now I'm going to focus on building that little section that's going to be in my truck. And then after that, I can kind of get the rest of it built. I'm going to build it in three different parts. Maybe the bottom box, the middle main box, and then the small little camper triangle in the front. I was originally going to do a rounded design, but then I saw one online that was almost kind of like a rhombus where it went straight like this and went straight down like that and it looked kind of cool um, it looked a little bit more modern look instead of like the old style of like the rounded camper so I'm gonna try to get this done I want to do the little box right now then we'll do the big box and then we'll do the other piece so I don't really know how long this video is gonna be I don't really know how far I'm gonna get with it I got some things to do today I'm gonna go work on my truck later with Dave so we'll see uh, how this goes All right, a little update so it's not just a video full of time lapses. As you can see, I got the kind of shape for the bottom little area already figured out. So basically, this is gonna go inside there. Right now, I'm gonna put the side walls on here, the back wall, that side wall. I just wanna keep chipping away at this. Like I said, it's kind of like my van builds where I'll just put out little videos here and there. I, I really have no idea how I'm gonna do it yet. It, really, it doesn't matter, I just wanna build this shit. And I figured I would document it because maybe somebody else wants to do this. I don't know, who knows? This is probably useless to everybody. But that being said, I'm gonna put the sides on it right now and then I'll call it a day. So far it's going pretty good. Now me and Trey were talking about it and this is just gonna be the bottom of the floor and it's only 1130 seconds on the bottom. And I'm like, oh, it looks really flimsy right now. But what you gotta remember is once it has the sides on it, it'll stiffen up. And then also this is just gonna be like what you walk on. And it's not like there's no floor because the better the truck is the floor. Like if I was just like having this to stand on, I would have to rib across the bottom. But like the floor of the truck acts as those ribs because it's like the truck bed. So this is gonna just be like what slides in. And it's only gonna be about that thick in between there. And I'll probably do some sort of insulation and then another layer of something on top once I get it all done and built inside there. But right now I'm just making the exterior shell, getting it all painted, doing the fiberglass stuff, and then I can start messing with the inside at a later time. But I just wanna focus on getting the outside built first. So there we go. We got the overall box shape for where you're gonna walk in. So the tailgate will fall down right here. And you can hop up. And this will be your walk around space. It's actually pretty spacious. I mean, there's gonna be insulation in these side walls here and it'll run down to like that. But I mean, overall, it's pretty freaking spacious, man. Pretty, pretty pleasing how it came out, that's for sure. Right now, I'm gonna try to seal it off. So that's the thing. This is like the one part I have to seal it right now well i have it like out and available because this is gonna be the part that slides in and out of the truck that being said i'm gonna use that sealant paint that i got that's like waterproof i'm not gonna use the poor man's fiberglass on this part i'm gonna use the sealant on this part and see how it goes so i'm gonna flip this over right now paint it dry and then uh, i'm gonna be done for a little bit on this today because i gotta go meet up with trey and the boys but other than that we're just gonna i don't know just piece by piece it's looking pretty sick already though i mean it doesn't really look like much but I can see what it's supposed to look like. I don't think you guys can yet. Right now I'm mixing up wood glue. Basically they said take the wood glue and like dilute it with water. So I guess it probably goes longer. And then maybe it doesn't dry as quick. I have no idea. But I'm just doing what it said to do. I guess you do this first and then you put the fiberglass on there. But they said mix it good. That looks pretty good. It was really thick before. I'll show you guys in a second like what it looked like before, but it was really, really thick before. I'm getting all the edges so that. Hold 
gotta get it so that down here it's like not sticking for some reason. Oh. Alright, right now I'm getting all this stuff done because I'll never be able to get to the side again. So I'm basically doing the fiberglass. So like I realized I watched the video back again. You put it on there and then it's hard to do it when it's like vertical because it doesn't want to stick to the sides. We have to do this over it and like you just basically just saturate this thing in like the wood glue with diluted water. And once it fully cures and dries, that's where it becomes that poor man's fiberglass. And then after you get it fully cured and dried, then you can paint it with whatever like outdoor paint you want or stuff like that. So I don't want to go too crazy with it, but I got to just do this side now because I'm not going to be able to ever get to this side again. So. Get it done now and then I don't have to ever flip this thing over again because this bottom part's a little bit flimsy and I'm hoping it strengthens up when I connect the top part, but if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to do some uh, additions to it. But I'm gonna get this done now and then, uh, then I'm actually done for the day. All right, so it's another day. We're getting working on this thing. The other day we started doing the flex seal on it. The flex seal is really hard to spread out over it. So I'm actually just gonna paint it with just regular ass uh, exterior paint like I saw in the videos. I was gonna try to do that flex seal on the whole thing uh, cause I figured it'd be better than the exterior paint that I saw other people using the videos. But the reason it's so hard is it's so very like thick. It's like, it doesn't very, it doesn't paint on very well. And you'd need like insane amount of cans and it's 30 bucks a can so it'd just be really stupid so i'm gonna do exterior paint on the whole thing and then i'm gonna do like one layer of exterior paint let it completely dry and then i'm, I'm going to do the flex seal on all the seams like the edges and all that stuff and then i'll do another layer of exterior paint and i went with this like cool like army tan color because i would like to do some army tan and then put like black camo on it to make it look cool but this is all down the road this is not 100 percent guaranteed what i'm gonna do but that's my plan so Right now, I'm gonna get to building the second portion of the box. So right here, well, that's drying. I gotta let the wood glue still dry. I got some dew on the ramp from the morning right now, so it's kind of making it a little bit more difficult to dry. But right now, what I'm gonna do is build the box that's gonna sit on top of that. So then I can flip that back over after it's all painted and done, because I'm not gonna be able to do that again, as I said before. I'll set it down, and then I'll build the box on top of that, and then we can kind of get things to start looking a little bit more sturdy. Cause that thing over there is pretty flimsy right now, but when I have that other box on top of it, that's when it'll start to take shape a bit more. And you'll be able to start understanding what I'm doing and what my goal is here. And it should be stronger as well. I'm gonna reinforce that. I'm gonna reinforce that bottom sheet apply. Uh, cause I just think it's too flimsy. Even though it would be sitting on the bed of the truck, when I ever lift it out, I don't want it to be like all like super flimsy. So I think if I put some two bys, two by twos across, it should make it stronger. So gonna start building the second box right now. And yeah. So we got the basic box shape going on right now. Uh, it's very lightly framed up. I'm gonna have to put a lot more stuff in there obviously. But I'm gonna put the quarter inch plywood on the outside first so that I can kind of like square off the edges. Because I noticed one thing Trey taught me is the best way to do it to get your box square is you can use the plywood because it has like a factory edge on it. And you pull out what you need to be to like make it right. And then you t tap it, tap it. And then you can make your box kind of somewhat square. So we got this side all squared up like that. So now, our guard edge. I'll redo the top. There we go. Now we can make a cut. All 
All right, so I'm gonna get these bottom rows of stuff around just so I can get this thing somewhat square. And then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna call it for today. I think I gotta head over to Trey's, start helping with the ramp. And I'm gonna head over to the property later with Dave and start cutting some stuff off my truck. Um, so it's really, really busy, as I said in the last video. But right now I just wanna get this bottom thing done. Then real quick, actually, I'm gonna hit this thing with some exterior paint so that that has time to dry. That way when I'm done with this, I can flip it over and get this thing stacked on top of that and start supporting it a little bit better so I can start to feel how sturdy it really is. Um, Come to the conclusion that this is all a giant waste of time because two by twos absolutely suck. I'm doing two by fours. I don't have to worry about the freaking weight. This is kind of a waste of money, but I'm sure I can use these two by twos for something inside of it. They're just too, they're just shitty. Like to be honest with you, they just absolutely suck ass. So I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna scratch this, take it apart, get rid of it. Cause it just, it's not working out like it's just like everything is just too cattywampus in this thing it just doesn't I mean, you can see it's not straight down there and i just i don't i don't know i'm not feeling it i take this bring it back over here then it makes that straight but it doesn't really because it's just the two by four is just the two by twos just have too much flex like you can literally see them flexing like this inside so it's just not good i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go buy two by fours to be honest with you it's fucking stupid Got the freaking paint on there. We'll let that dry and then we can finally flip this bad boy over. We don't gotta see it no more, which would be great. And I noticed when I do the fiberglass on the outside of the top thing, you gotta cut these edges off because this likes to sit more than those edges do. Those edges like to peel up real easy. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I hope you guys have been enjoying the build videos on this camper. I've been having a lot of fun doing this. I love building up my van a few years back and it's really cool to do something like this again. Hoping to get some trips in it. If you guys have been following along with the build and you guys want to support the build and the channel just in general, you guys can get these limited shirts. I only made 75 of these shirts and I'm never making them again. So if you guys want to be a part of the whole camper build process, because you guys like this build video, then go grab one of these. I also want to say that we're packaging all the orders right now. We got still the other shirts that we have on the site still available and we have a few extras of these ones. And then the cool thing that I really want to tell you guys about is anybody who orders something right now, there's like, I think 15 or so of these glasses. The first 15 people to order are going to get themselves a pair of day vision goggles. Let me show you guys what day vision goggles are. These are the same exact vision goggles that Dave wears. So you guys will now be able to see what Dave sees all the time. It, that's yellow. It looks white. That's blue. It looks green. Everything just doesn't make sense anymore. And I don't know if maybe Dave wearing these, this is what allows him to see life the way he does, but 15 lucky people are gonna be able to get to see what Dave sees, okay? And I got five pairs for Dave himself because, you know, Dave goes through these things real, real fast. Last thing I wanna show you guys real quick is just a little bit of what you guys have to look forward to. Show him a little peek. All right, that's enough. All right, I'm out.